Hey, what's up guys? Today, we're gonna look at three single-player budget games worth playing. These are three games that are cheaper versions of the game they're inspired by, but can still be worth a shot. I've already played and reviewed all of these games, but this is just a shorter video to introduce you to them. You can check in the description for the full reviews, but without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So starting with the first person budget Zelda, this is Windscape. You can get this game at the starting price of $20, but I've seen it on sale many times for over 50% off. Windscape is a very basic version of Zelda, and if you're looking for a Zelda inspired game with lots of depth, this ain't it. Windscape is a decently fun game to play casually for a very cheap price. If your expectations aren't too high, I'd say it's worth a shot. Check down in the description or at the top right if you're interested. Next up with another Nintendo budget game, we have Castaway Paradise. This is a budget version of Animal Crossing, and out of all the games here, this one got the most hours out of me. Luckily all of these games are on Steam, which is why these first two games are in a unique position being Nintendo budget games. But Castaway Paradise was a nice and casual time waster for a little while. If you want a cheap version of a Nintendo game without owning a Nintendo console, then be sure to check out these first two games. Now, before I show you the last game, which I think is the best one, I have an honorable mention for Escape the City, which is a budget version of Half-Life. Why is this game only an honorable mention? Because this game is much worse than the others. I know these are budget games, but we have some standards here. You can check out my review on this game, which is probably a better use of your time and money. Saving the best for last, we have the budget Hitman game called The Slater. This game is inspired by older Hitman games, and for an indie game, I think The Slater was executed very well. It's pretty polished and even the graphics don't look too bad, it's just a little rough around the edges, especially with some of the NPCs, but this feels like a genuine inspiration of the older Hitman games from an indie dev who had an idea of what they were doing, like this doesn't feel rushed or anything. You can get this later for $10 or even $1 on sale. Check out my review or the game itself down in the description if you're interested. But there you guys have it. Three single player budget games worth playing. I tried going in order from worst to best, even though I don't think any of these games are that bad. Except for the honorable mention, but I hope you guys enjoyed these style of videos. It seems like a good way to introduce you guys to new games without having to watch a full review. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, or if any of these games got your attention. I have a playlist of other videos just like this down below, so be sure to subscribe so you can discover random cool games. You can check on the screen for my reviews on each one of these games if you want to dig any deeper. But thank you guys for watching the entire video, it really means a lot that you enjoy my content, and I hope to see you guys in one of those reviews. Peace.